Sup, y'all, bring you guys another video. So, as we all know, on the uh, 4th of June, well, 4th of June for here in the US, uh, we have a big fight coming up George Combosos versus Devin Haney, which is taking place over in uh, Melbourne, Australia, at the uh, Marvel Stadium. And uh, it will be shown live here in the USA on ESPN. ESP, ESPN Deportes if you want to watch it in, with Spanish commentary or if you're subscribed to ESPN Plus you can tune in to ESPN Plus as well over in Australia it will be on Sunday June the 5th the 5th of June uh, and I believe it will be pay-per-view over there so so yeah keep in mind the fights in Australia June 4 here in the States June 5 over in Australia so uh, yeah it's a fight where we can finally crown uh, an undisputed champion at the lightweight division there's been a lot of discussions and arguments of who truly is the undisputed champion because uh, Devin Haney holds the regular version of the WBC belt and um, George Composos holds the uh, franchise version of the WBC belt so anyway it's a big fight a fight I'm looking forward to and uh, sometime in the past week while I was out on vacation because I know I was out on, for like almost a week uh, news broke out that Bill Haney the head trainer and father of uh, Devin Haney won't be uh, traveling with him to Australia. I believe Devin Haney is in Australia now, but Bill Haney was denied to enter Australia. Um, so yeah, so that's two of the main coaches of Devin Haney that won't be in Australia. First, Dev uh, Ben Davison, and uh, now his father, uh, Bill Bill Haney. If you guys don't know. Uh, Bill Haney was denied entry to Australia because he he had a uh, felony on his record uh, back in 1992, a uh, federal drug conviction, uh, which he served time for. And uh, I guess there's a law in Australia that um, they don't allow people who has a felony uh, on, their, on their record to enter the country. So, so anyway, that sucks for, um, for Devin Haney. Um, it's crazy how you know they, they don't take in consideration other things like him serving time him being a changed man you know and it happened 30 years ago <laughs> so i don't know I, I i guess what you know they're i guess they're really strict with that uh, australia so anyway uh will this affect devin haney's performance come fight night this uh coming june 4 or june 5 um in my opinion, I think it will. Honestly, I think without Ben, without his dad, it it's gonna be different. It will definitely affect Devin Haney in some way or form. Oh, who knows if it's a good thing or a bad thing? Um, I mean, we'll find out in June four. I think it motivates him more. Actually, I think it will motivate him more uh, to to go out there and and try to win the fight more against. Uh, George Combosos. It probably pisses him off that they're not allowing his dad to be there ringside with him. So, you know, I, I could definitely see him being much more motivated now to pull off the win uh, come fight night. And apparently, according to uh, Steve Kim, um, he recently tweeted this out. Well, actually sometime in the past week also. Saying that Bob Arum told him that they're, they're working something out to allow, you know, electronics, some type of communication uh, for Bill Haney to communicate with uh, his son from the corner during the fight. So I guess FaceTime, who knows Who knows what they're going to do. Um, yeah, probably most likely some type of FaceTime uh, uh, conversation. Maybe he, he can uh, talk to one of the corners. I don't think that's allowed, to be honest. I don't know if it's going to be allowed uh, come fight night, but you never know. I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask, right? So who, I guess it depends on the commission over in Australia if they'll allow something like that. I don't think so. I mean, if they allow something like that, that's going to change up the game a lot. Like for somebody watching from TV where they can see things differently compared from, you know, from ringside. Yo, that's, that's going to change things up if, they, if uh, commissions start allowing something like, uh, you know, a third party from watching on TV, seeing from different angles of how to uh, play out the fight and maybe even listen to commentary of how you know the commentators are uh, seeing the fight so yeah it's gonna be tough to to allow something like this um, but you never know right you never know anyway 
Um, sucks that Devin Haney's dad and um, second coach Ben Davison and Bill Haney won't be uh, ringside, but uh, it's sport of boxing, man. A lot of fighters, a lot of people, you know, were saying that it's not fair, this and that. But when you think about it, you know, a lot of fighters travel going to the U.S. with their trainers, not being allowed to travel to the U.S. And they ended up still fighting. Some still won, some lost. Um, I guess this is just like a first thing for like a, a, a big U.S. American boxer uh, traveling to uh, you know a foreign country uh, where his head coach, his dad, won't be allowed to be uh, uh, ringside with him, in the corner with him. So that's why I think, from an American perspective, it's it's a bigger deal than 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 compared to you know from other countries. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, in the end, it's still gonna be a good fight. I'm very much looking forward to it. Again, June four for the U.S. on primetime ESPN, ESPN Deportes, ESPN Plus, and Sunday, I think noontime Sunday around noontime Sunday on June 5 on pay-per-view for Australia. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.